morning, nearly afternoon. Um, my name is Celia Pelat. I will see how this works with Persia. Works. So before I start, I, you see a bench on the screens. Uh, why a bench? We are talking about the digital war against terrorism today. And it is because this bench shows not what am I going to talk about, but how I came to talk about it. And it was through a bench. So in this digital world, there are still chances to meet people personally. And in these conversations, when we sit together with something on a bench, maybe at a NATO summit, when you are trying just to find a little place where to rest on a break, you get to meet somebody like Armgard. And it is in that conversation where I met Armgard that only, all, also I go to know a little bit more about WISE and about today and about the great topics that were going to be discussed. And it is also that reason why when Armgard asked me if I would come and talk here, I said, Yes, of course, and I'm very proud to be here. I say thank you for the invitation, Armgard, and happy 15th birthday, vis.de. So let's go on. A little bit about me. So Celia Pelaz, I am Spanish, bo born in Spain, but I've been in Germany already for over 18 years and became German not long ago. So I now have both nationalities. I started my career as a system engineer um, I've been uh, working since then, it's already 20 years in defense. Um, I started to work for Astrium, part of EADS, which became Airbus, and then went out uh, with a car about enhanced all system engineer, project manager, uh, sales, a little bit of everything, uh, even communication, strategy, MA. And today I am leading one of the three business lines of Hensold. It is called Spectrum Dominance and Airborne Solutions. And it is about spectrum dominance that I am going to be talking in the next minutes because uh, I want to show you how spectrum dominance can help us to master the war in the digital terrain. So what do we understand with spectrum dominance? In the area of spectrum dominance at Hensold, we offer solutions to our customers to master both the cyber, this is data, and the electromagnetic signals spectrum. So we are talking about information superiority in the end. There is no network today that doesn't travel through the electromagnetic spectrum, and all data that gets to us goes through networks and through the signals that are sent. And, well, how can we use this information superiority to face the threats that we have today in the world. If we look at the world today, it really doesn't show a very good picture. I will not say too much about it because it has been said already by everybody who talked in the conference today. But this world, and we heard this today as well, which is full of difficult situations, uh, destabilization in Africa or in the Middle East, it's connected. All these terrorist groups that are also growing in this difficult situation, are connected. There is no borders anymore. You can reach anybody in the world. And we heard already by Patricia about it, or also by Naya, all these terrorist organizations use this in order to reach their people. They employ or they recruit people through um, media or uh, social media. They use social media in order to convince groups about their ideas. And all these platforms, even they give them a sort of uh, legitimacy. So when you see a website and this website telling you something, it, it looks like really it's something that it must be true. It's a website about it. The same way there are news samples, there are post samples. If so many people, believe the same thing. Well, maybe I should be believing the same thing, yeah? So what can we do in this situation? Because there has been many different tries in order to try to stop people using the internet or social media to, in, in a bad way. But this is something that actually I, I think we should keep trying, but we are not going to win the war there. The use of that social media and the internet and all this data also allows us, though, to fight it 
So if you see here news um, where the police can, by the use of this public data by the terrorist organizations, also know where they are, what they are doing, and not all terrorists are so intelligent. And sometimes they even post videos about where they live or what are they doing, and therefore the police can also use this data in order to catch them. There is enormous amount of data out there that can help us in order to what we call OSINT, or open source intelligence, to use this data, analyze it, and then be able to use it against those who are using social media for the bad. But there is not only the public data domain. Of course, we also have the private data domain. All terrorists not only use the internet in order to do bad things. Most of what they do, it's hidden. And for that, we need other tools. Still, we are talking about the cyber and the electromagnetic spectrum. They communicate through phones. They use also uh, the internet in order to send emails and everything. And here, with other tools in which we can get into the data that they are talking, we can also fight the terror. And obviously, not everything that happens happens so out there, there is also the dark net, there is also the different uh, attacks, and I won't say much because I have been told I only have two more minutes, it's been talked about it. Um, and um, this, the biggest challenge for all this is this enormous amount of data. I just checked not long ago, I think there is 55 exabytes of data are sent around the world every day. This is an enormous amount of data, and of course, technology can only help us here in order to process all this data as, as it's already been said. But just to end, before we go into the discussion, we have seen there is a lot of data out there, private one, not private one. We have tools to analyze and see all this data. We can know today with technology everything about everybody. And this brings us the question, can liberty survive in this digital age? So with that open question, I stop here and look forward to the discussion with the colleagues. Thank you very much.